desperate to find the final victim of Moore's murderer, Myra Hindley, investigators took the unusual step of hypnotising her in a bid to find the remains. 12-year-old Keith Bennett was murdered by Hindley, an accomplice, Ian Brady, in the mid-60s. The pair kidnapped and killed five children in a case that horrified the nation. It's eight years since Myra Hindley went back to Saddleworth Moor in a failed attempt to guide police to the grave of one of her victims. Now she could be back again, but only after undergoing hypnosis that may reveal memories hidden deep in her mind. The decision to allow Hindley to be hypnotised was taken by Prisons Minister Michael Forsyth after a personal plea by the mother of Keith Bennett. He was just 12 when he was murdered. His mother said after her meeting at the Home Office, she won't rest until her son has a Christian burial. I've had 30 years of it, nearly 31 years, and as I said to the Minister, even if it doesn't happen, I'm going to still carry on fighting for him, because that's the main asset in my life now, is finding him and having him buried. But one doctor experienced in hypnotising witnesses says the technique doesn't have a high success rate. I've been called in a number of times on murder cases and rape cases by the police, but even though one of the subjects was deep trance and he had quite a, an amount of recall for an event of about 10 years ago, uh, it really it added up to nothing in the end. This is not to say that they, they should not try, but my own experience and my reading around the subject suggests that not a great deal will come of it. Hindley will have a psychological examination within the next few weeks before any hypnosis. That'll take place at Cookhamwood Prison in Kent. Depending on the results, doctors will then begin to probe her memory of the horrific events which ended on Saddleworth Moor 30 years ago.